Let's do it. Welcome to the World Series. It's game seven tonight with the Washington Nationals and the Houston Astros playing for the World Championship. Not that a game seven needs any extra sizzle, but Max Scherzer and Zach Greinke, and for the first time in World Series history, there will be a game seven duel between two former Cy Young Award winners. Trey Turner opened the game yesterday with a base hit, and that snapped an 0 for 12 World Series stretch. And Turner has a line shot doubled up by Bregman for the first down. Another hard hit ball in the ball game as Bregman was a step toward the line and he was in. Two balls and two strikes to Eaton. In front of the plate and a really tricky play for the catcher Torinos who gets on it to get a fast base run. It's a moment of miscommunication between Torinos and Greinke. But it ended up not costing the Astros the play. Well, Greinke's a terrific fielder. He's a five-time Gold Glover. But the catcher Chirinos called for it. He said, "I got it. I got it." Two gone bases empty for Anthony Rendon. And on the first pitch, a bouncer to third. The Nationals are retired in order on eight pitches to start the night by Zach Greinke. Scherzer has every weapon you need to get every hitter out. We'll see if he's comfortable in the first or a little too amped up. Three balls and a strike to count to Michael Brantley. Just missed with a fastball. First base runner of the night. A two out walk here in the bottom of the first. The chant of MVP greets Alex Bregman with a man on a two away. In the air out to right for Adam Eaton, a routine play. Despite the two out walk. Max Scherzer holds serve. Leadoff hitter report for Howie Kendrick. 1 0. Little excuse me check swing. Taylor made for two. Zach Greinke is a terrific fielder. He's a five time gold glove pitcher. And he made a terrific play. 2 2 pitch. Nice pick by Guriel. And his stellar defense continues in this postseason. Yuli Gurriel will lead it off against Max Scherzer. 2 1, and Gurriel lines it deep to left field. Going back as Soto looking up. See you later! Into the Lance's Crawford boxes. Yuli Gurriel makes it 1 0 Astros. And listen to this crowd. That's what they're hoping for to get the lead and get the crowd into it. And Gurriel does just that 100 miles per hour off the bat. First home run of this World Series, second of this postseason. You may recall his three run home run that got the Astros scoring started in game six of the ALCS against the Yankees. Lead off homer, back to back singles, and then a couple of outs. Three balls and no strikes to George Springer. Springer lines to left. Soto is able to hang on and retire the side. Couldn't hit it any harder in a sinking line drive. Juan Soto is there to make the catch. And now another Cuban born player in this Astro lineup, the rookie and 22 year old Jordan Alvarez, who hit 27 home runs during the regular season and will likely be the American League Rookie of the Year. High fly ball to center. Robles is back on the track to end the inning. And we're through three. Astros have left five. Granke has retired the Nationals through the minimum through three innings. Shakes off Chirinos twice. Comes back with the big curveball. That turns into an out. Anything back toward the mound, he's going to handle it. He's an extra infielder on the diamond. A terrific defender. One gone for Adam Eaton, who grounded back to the mound. Wow. Give him another gold glove. Two out. So if this was a regular season game, somebody in the dugout in Washington would go, hey, guys, we need to pick on somebody else. Quit hitting it back to Granke. But again, good finish, good reaction. Man, you couldn't ask for a better start for Zach Granke, A.J. Hinch, and his decision making. Got him swinging. First strike out of the ball game. What a start in game seven. Astros are 0 for 5 in this game with runners in scoring position. They've got one at second. That's Reddick. Runner at first. That's Springer and Jose Altuve at the plate. Into center. Robles is there. And the Astros now 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position have left seven through four innings in game seven. Well now Zimmerman can tie it with a hit. And if Greinke gets this out it'll be the first time he completes five in a while. Biggest start of his life. And he is 
through five. That'll put two on with two out for Carlos Correa. The 2-2. Two -two. Correa grounds it past the dive of the third baseman Rendon and down the left field line. Guriel scores on his way to third. Alvarez to throw to third. Not in time. RBI for Correa and a 2-0 Astros lead. Just the hit the Astros were looking for, and it comes from Correa. A breaking ball that he just kept inside the bag. Rendon, who's been robbing the Astros all series long, just had it go off the end of the leather. And a big run for the Astros with two outs. Here comes a 2-2. A swing and a miss. The strikeout ends the inning. But a big two-out RBI by Carlos Correa to double the lead in game seven. Zach Greinke entered play tonight. 0-2 with an ERA in the eights in three career starts with a chance to clinch a postseason series. And Turner is locked up. For the third time tonight, Zach Greinke executes an eight-pitch, one, two, three inning. Second pitcher of the night for the Nationals, the left-hander Patrick Corbin. Altuve might hit one that bounces. Back up the middle, a step and a throw. And Mariznik slides into Cabrera. Both are okay. And game number seven goes into inning number seven with a heart of the order coming up. Let's see what happens with Anthony Rendon, who was anxious in the first in the first inning, very patient in the fourth. Frankie delivers. Swing a long drive to left. Way back. Forget about it. It is going, going, and long gone into the Crawford boxes. And the Nationals are on the board. Anthony Rendon has his second home run in the World Series. It's now the Astros two and the Nationals one as Anthony Rendon delivers a big hit here in the seventh inning. D.H. Howie Kendrick coming up and this place will let Granke know how much they appreciate what he did here tonight. And then a walk to Soto and now Will Harris deals with Kendrick. Kendrick into the opposite corner. That one well hit. Springer looks up and it's gone. Howie Kendrick has delivered the Nationals a one-run lead. And this one is gone. It hits the foul pole, and the Nationals lead. Howie Kendrick has done it again. A slicing two-run homer off the right field foul pole. Do you believe it, Howie Kendrick? Part two. In the reaction at the bullpen in Washington, D.C., is that celebration. Victor Robles, three for 23 this World Series one RBI should end the inning Springer sends game seven into the seventh inning stretch and the batter that Patrick Corbin was getting loose for in last night's ball game Jordan Alvarez will walk to the plate here with a tying run at first two out in the seventh in game seven swinging a tapper third base side of the mound Corbin off the hill has it he gloves he throws he's out at first and the side retired Patrick Corbin has pitched two scoreless innings out of the bullpen here's Soto Base hit into right. Eaton will come around third base and score. Soto delivers again. And it's 4-2 Nationals here in the eighth. That 21-year-old kid has been unbelievable this postseason. And Patrick Corbin is back out there. Another 2-2. Strike three called on the inside corner, one away. Second strikeout for Corbin. And he gets the benefit of a call big time on a fastball inside. With two strikes, there's no way he can handle that pitch. Can Correa and a good opportunity for Corbin to put pressure before the end of the night from the hole with a backhand long throw. Turner, two down, a starter during the season. He's been busy out of the pen five times this postseason. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider, and the side is retired. Two strikeouts at a 1-2-3 inning for Patrick Corbin. Bases loaded, one out. Urquidy out of the bullpen. That is up the middle. One run scores. That's Gomes. They hold Robles. Now send him as Marisnik kicks it in center. Two more runs, and it's 6-2. Nationals up by four here in the ninth. Great contact guy in Eaton. <laughs> and they can smell it right there. Adam Eaton has had a huge World Series. Bottom of the ninth inning of game seven. 
And Daniel Hudson takes over. Corbin three brilliant innings. And he helps settle down their bullpen. That's a mile high on the infield for Cabrera. One out. The Nationals are two outs away. The right-hander kicks and delivers. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a high fastball on three pitches. One more out to go. Here's Brantley. The kick and here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And a World Series Game 7 winning Curly W is in the books. The celebration is on. The Washington Nationals are the world champions. Remember where you are. So you remember where you are right now at 11.50 Eastern Time. Remember where you are on October 30th, 2019, when the Washington Nationals finished the fight from the depths of a forgettable 19 and 31 start. They have climbed to the top of baseball's highest peak, giving us all a finish to a season we will remember for the rest of our lives.